Well, Driving Miss Daisy is cruising on to the Greenville Theater stage starting on April 4th. Today I'm joined by MJ, who plays Miss Daisy, and Derek, who plays Bully in the show. Thank you guys so much for being here with us. Hi. Thank you for yeah. having us. I was asking you guys off camera if you had done Greenville Theater performances before, and I know you have. You moved away, and now you're back. Right. And Derek, you said this is your first one with the Greenville Theater. First one at Greenville. Yeah. But you've been doing theater for a long time. For about so, 40 years. Right? Yeah. So people are kind of familiar with the story of Driving Miss Daisy because of the movie. Uh, okay. It's a Pulitzer Prize winning story. So oh, it's uh, beautiful. It's set it up for us, Miss Daisy. Set it up for us. Yeah. <laughs> it is a beautiful piece. It's written in uh, right after the war for, as Daisy ages, about mm -hmm. 30 years during the show pretty quick and yeah. in an hour and a half <laughs> and uh, <laughs> lives in Atlanta, Georgia and it's it's her growth it's what's going on in our community and in our society during that time and her growth of friendship with this chauffeur that her son decides she absolutely must have because she can't wreck any more cars. Right. <laughs> right. And it's an <laughs> unlikely friendship too because during that time in American history, 1948 through the 70s, obviously lots going on and right. uh, race relations, you know, civil rights, absolutely. all of that going on too. Uh, introduce us to Bully. Who is Bully in the okay. store? Bully is uh, Daisy's only son, mm -hmm. uh, running the family business. Um, <laughs> he's a mama's boy, uh, but he's having to make some tough decisions uh, to take care of his mama. And uh, so we bring in Hoke, uh, who's played by Corbin Frazier, uh, and to hire to be her driver. And it's the growth of not only her, but Hoke and Bully as well, all through this whole, it, it's, a, it's a wonderful transitional piece. And we talked about, you know, the, the time that that took place in, but there are lots of things that we can take from that time and applicate them to, you know, to now. Right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's all about growth of friendships and figuring out how people need to just get to know each other mm -hmm. and understand their common interests and their common caring about each other instead of all their differences mm -hmm. and their dislikes and, right. and stereotypes of mm -hmm. each other because you find out People are people. They are, and I think yeah. Maya Angelou says it best. I think it's like we are more alike than we are unalike. Right? Absolutely. And so this is kind of a great, a great story yeah. to kind of tell that. It's running April fourth through the twenty first, and you mm -hmm. guys have lots of options from Thursday show, Friday shows, weekend shows as well, right. even right. some matinees in there mm -hmm. too. Uh, give us the times that people can come and check this out. All right. So uh, Thursday nights are at seven thirty. Uh, Friday and Saturday nights are 8 o'clock shows, and then we have a 3 o'clock matinee on Sundays, and mm -hmm. it does run for three weekends. And so I, I imagine this is kind of special for you guys, too, to kind of see how the audience goes through it. And, and obviously watching something on a movie screen and then watching something on a stage screen, totally different because those totally real-life actors and seeing how they, you, you each bring something different to the, the role. I really, really hope that people will go home with this and talk about it for weeks and mm -hmm. talk with people that haven't seen the show mm -hmm. about it for weeks. I hope it makes that kind of Great impression. for schools, too, to be able to have this conversation talking about yeah, how beautiful. we approach characters, how we approach people in real life. So, mm -hmm. really yeah. great. Thank you both so much well, for coming you. on thank and you, talking Jim to Marcus. us. Best of luck with the show. Again, thank it you. runs uh, starting on April 4th. It runs through the 21st. Mm -hmm. And we'll put all that information for you at our website. You can always go to the box office at greenvilletheater.org.